what's up again and today we're going to do an unboxing video of the Silverstone world's smallest 80 plus platinum full modular ATX power supply and it is rated as 80 plus platinum over here so this is the Strider platinum series 850 watt ST85F-PT power supply so let's see what we have first on the box it's the full modular ATX power supply so modular means you can remove all the cables and leave the power supply cableless so we have one 24 pin motherboard for the motherboard and two 4 plus 4 pins for the motherboard again and PCIe 6 plus 2 for your video cards SATA ports we have 12 of them and then peripherals or your Molex adapters three cables for it and one floppy 4P so yeah let's start the unboxing of this power supply so if you can see that we have the maximum output of 850 watts 22 amps and all of the stuff and yeah this is it this is the whole box for the Silverstone power supply let's try to open it so as usual we get the user, robot, user manual on how to use and what's this or oh, just the guide specifications so yeah you can see that by yourself and usually nobody reads this <laughs> so now we remove the styrofoam and it's well packed you know the styrofoam has like very thick sides so you don't have to be worried about stuff and let's see the power supply first. So yeah, if you can see, it's well packed and well protected. So it's usually safe for shipping. So let's just put that to the side. And let's see this first. So attention, the PSU fan will not spin during the operation until certain temperature is reached. So this one will not spin until it gets hot. So this will save you a lot more power and the usual power supplies when you turn them on the fans just turn on automatically but for this one they actually said that it has like a temperature sensor or something built in inside so it will only spin if it gets hot so good technology silverstone so there you go it's quite small but it's a bit heavy and this is the first time i saw this on power supplies that you act, they actually put some protective covers on your pins so this one actually avoids dust from coming inside the pins and moisture to avoid rust and stuff so that's pretty good silverstone for this one so we have for the CPU the four pins so this one is the eight pin for the CPU or four pin and eight pin so yeah and this one usually they have colors so let me show you so the blue ones is for your PCIe so this ones are going to go to your graphics cards so just remember blue is for graphics cards so if you're running SLI or Nvidia SLI two graphics cards you're going to use two if only one one or something because usually the graphics cards has two female slots on them so maybe only use one or two totally up to you and this port is again for the peripherals so they are six pins so they are for your what, SATA IDE and the DVD drivers or DVD players writers and stuff this one is it and this one is for your 24 pin connector and yeah that is it and we have a on on off 
on and off switch the back very good design with the frost logo for silverstone and yeah looks pretty solid to me good job and now moving on let's put this one aside let's see the cables so here are the cables <laughs> so these are the screws they give you four thumb screws and Phillips head screws this one gives you the option to use thumb screws for easy access or just do it so permanent or get a screwdriver to open it they give you four cable ties and I think four removable ties again yeah so now this is it so the blue pins goes to the power supply and this one's the PCI pins goes to your video cards there you go so we actually get two of them no we get four of them yeah four so one two three four then very very thick power adapter so yeah we are in Asia so we use this one for our wall adapters and Molex more Molex and yeah, more Molex and this one is the 24 pin so I'm guessing that this one is going to the motherboard and this one, or this one is going to the power supply and this one is going to the motherboard uh, let's check yep, this one goes to the motherboard and this one goes here and the extra one goes here so this one is your SATA cables so we have a lot of them and for the 8 pins so again mother motherboard power supply motherboard power supply so here's the clue so if you see this ones always the pins that are together always goes to the power supply and the ones that aren't together these are always the one that we use for the 8 pin on the motherboard so this becomes 8 pin and some of the older versions or the lower budget motherboards only uses 4 pins so use 4 pins okay so yeah and the most intriguing part the silica gel don't eat this okay I don't want to try eating this so yeah you, you won't see me eat this <laughs> but yeah this one just to keep most moisture away from the case and you know from shipping and stuff and that's it that is the whole unboxing of the Silverstone ST85F power supply the world's smallest 80 plus platinum power supply thanks for watching guys see you again next time